Island Fuel, Congan and Coleman Insurance, Don Allen Auto Center, Harbor Fuel, Island Lumber, Island Pharmacy, Kitty Murtaugs, the Downey Flake, Joe the Packing CPA, the Islander Package Store, the Seagull, Boys and Girls Club, Steamship Authority, the Beauty Bar, Jewelers Gallery, Rick's Paint and Maintenance, the Visitor Center, JB Drywall, Special to Go, Fast Forward, Nantucket Seafood, Rider Electric, Outdoor Power, Billy Built Automotive, Cottage and Castle, Nantucket Electrical Contractors, Killen Real Estate, Martin Bork Painting, Cowboys Meat Market, Santos Rubbish Removal, Nantucket Health Department, Sushi by Yoshi, Randy Alfred, Heating and Cooling, Island Fencing, Island Carpets, Valero and Sons, Scrim Handler Gallery, Fawcett Man Plumbing and Heating, Nantucket Estate Jewelry and Fine Art, the NRTA, the Boathouse, Fairgrounds Restaurant, Pumpkin Pond Farm, Something Natural, Highland Flooring, Champion Rentals, Island Variety, Sherbin Management, The Homestead, Nantucket Health Club, UPS Store, BPC Architect, Just Do It Two Sport Fishing, Artistic Tile Install, Keeper's Restaurant, Glidden Island Seafood, Nantucket Folk Art and Wood Carving, uh, Nantucket Architect Group, Hatch's Package Store, Dan's Pharmacy, Murray's Toggery, Gray Lady Property Management, Geronimo's and Dirty Paws Dog Wash, The Corner Table, Polgate's Laundry, and uh, the new guy aboard, Island Kitchen. We thank all these fine sponsors for bringing you portions of today's game. <laughs> Welcome, Island Kitchen. Uh, Welcome, right. Island we Kitchen. Having them. The new guy aboard. We love having new guys, don't we, Dick? Patrick is a fine, uh, fine supporter of Will Sports, and and uh, Patrick uh, is and they cook some a, good food. They cook some good food over there, and I, I will be enjoying it this winter. Good. So, Dennis, what can we look for on this yeah, game? Yeah. What about these kids? Because that's what uh, we're looking. All right. For. Um, well, Dick. First of all, this should be a a, a really a close contest. We don't know what, what both teams have. Um, Mashby um, is predicted to win by the Boston Herald. Um, but what I can say about Mashby, their roster is, has only five seniors. And all, all the rest of them are underclassmen, including ninth graders. But they do have uh, the defensive end, Gonzalez, who, who, was, uh, who, who was a great player. Uh, I watched him last year. Um, he he uh, is going to lead the defense, and Dewan Ford, running back, um, uh, is an outstanding athlete. So they have two great athletes. I watched the warm-ups, and I think the quarterback can throw the ball a little bit. So we'll look forward to seeing that. But I think the question is, um, can Mashby's defense contain the Wheeler offense? with Terrain Burton and um, uh, Devonte Usher. Are both of them healthy? Because I heard one of them get dinged in practice this week. I'm not oh, sure which one. I didn't one. hear that. So I, well, we'll have to wait and see on that. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, you mentioned uh, Mashby and Nantucket. Both graduated a lot. Uh, Nantucket uh, coming back with some skill people. You mentioned two of the skill people for uh, Mashby. They, they are both excellent ball players. I like to throw in... Uh, Number uh, the, the, the wide number receiver. seven, number seven, the wide receiver yep. Cameron Kurgo. Yep. Yep. So they have three good people like that there that can affect a change the flow of the ball game. The the def, the, the big uh, tight end defensive end he can do it on the offensive defensive side. Ford we know can break it at any time. Uh, he, he's probably playing defense too along with. Uh, oh yeah, they're all out there. Kurgo Kurgo the uh, is a burner. So those are the three guys that Nantucket has stuck. Now the Whalers the will be uh, trying out a new offense tonight. It's, co it, it's called the Pistol Wing T. And um, we'll, we'll see how that works. It's a, it's, um, it's a little bit different from last year. It looks like they're going to be closer to the line of scrimmage. The quarterback is going to get the ball. Um, and whichever play is called the wing, is going, is, is going to be going to, to either get, get the ball or fake. The yellow wing coming the other way. So, I, you know, I'm looking to see um, if there's any confusion, you know, as far as t tonight's concerned with a new offense. Well, that's, that's certainly a possibility when, when uh, something new is tried. 
something new was tried. But the flip side of it is, Nantucket's got a, a new quarterback. Do, do uh, Yep, do uh, yep. The, the, I think I think the big the big difference for Nantucket is how soon will Duart feel comfortable at quarterback, whether in this offense or any offense. Holgate, what, three years plus he was here, he, yeah. was, he was sort of automatic. Yep. And you knew exactly what you're going to get from him. He was almost like a coach on the field. And uh, another, another player that came back to Nantucket was Victor Gambaroni, uh, number, number two, a senior. And he's a running back and a defensive back. He's a heck of an athlete. So, you know, I mean, the Whalers have the athletes. The question is, um, if Mashby plays a good, good solid defense, um, I think they possibly have favored in the game. So we have to wait and see that. See, uh, the Whalers, on the other hand, um, they're vulnerable along the line of scrimmage. How many linemen did they lose last year? Pretty well, much most of them. We don't want to say how many linemen they lost. I think they lost about 1,300 pounds of linemen. <laughs> a lot of weight, yeah. Well, so a lot of big guys. Yeah. A lot of big guys they lost. Yeah. And, you know, we've watched this offensive line for about the past three or four years. And the, big, the biggest guy, Korea, and uh, he got a full scholarship to Rhode Island. I, I heard he made a traveling squad, did not get into the game. Uh, the year before that, uh, Ryder left. Yep. Uh, he made the traveling squad for what? George Washington? Is that yep. where he's? Yep. And uh, he he was redshirted his freshman. He made the try. He didn't get into the game. So those are the types of quality people that Nantucket has been putting out. Uh, Holgate, Holgate is at Union. He made the team, although he's not a quarterback. They're trying him at the end. And uh, also, also there is uh, uh, Joe Den Denby. 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 Uh, Denby. Is playing. He is playing. He got, he got about he got about ten carries, uh, caught running, a couple of passes. Running back, yeah. As a uh, as a running back. Well, so that's those, good to see, Dick. You know, I mean, our players moving on and, and playing at the next level. So that's the type of program that uh, Nantucket has had. The coach, new coach, Joe Perry. You're talking about the new offense. New coach comes in, puts his wrinkles on it. That seems to be a wrinkle that uh, Joe has come up with. Along with his coaching staff, a lot of a lot of holdover in the coaches of Juan Machado, Bo, Timmy Saradellis is coming back. He's he's been away for for a while. Uh, Rich Perry, Joe brought his brother along, helping out with the JVs. Rich Perry, a lot of uh, a lot of ex uh, ball players, a lot of guys that you and I coached out yeah. there out there coaching. Absolutely, it's, it's interesting. I I gave uh, I gave Joe Perry a, a little stat here. That I'll throw at you. Vita retired. Uh, I think in 2008, Johnny Aloisi came in, a young buck. He was just about 30 years old. John stayed for two years, followed by Billy Manchin. Billy Manchin is about three or four years older than John. Billy stays around three years, followed by Brian Ryder. Brian Ryder is about five or six years stayed older than four. him. He stayed four years. So I told I told Perry, I said, I hope you have a five-year contract at least, because uh, that's that's the, the progression that's going on here. Again, all four of them are all ex. Ball players for Coach Capiza. Yeah, and we had them all. In the, I coached. I coached. Uh, I coached two of them personally. Uh, Aloisi yeah. came after me. Manchester was just starting out. Well, uh, I, I had all all four. You had all four of them. Well, Dick, uh, I'm excited for tonight. I think it's going to be a great game to do. Yeah, you're looking at you're looking at the quality of. Uh, they took a schedule this year, and it's a tough schedule. Last year, I mean, they opened with Bishop Stang, uh, 35 to nothing, no contest. That's not going to happen tonight. They're calling for a close game. It should be a close game, but whoever gets an early break. Oh, that's another thing. Whoever gets an, uh, an early break and gets up in this game it could put a lot of pressure if, on the if other I'm team to come back. And I, get, I win the toss, I take the football. Let's see what they do. A little bit of wind here blowing down the normal way when you have a windy day at the field. So that is going to affect the uh, kicking game. We talk about it affecting the passing game. There's not too much wind that affects the passing game. He really has been. It affects the kicking game more than anything. Last time the Mastery was on this field, uh, the Whalers had put a beating on him. So. 
A lot of good things going on for this team. Yeah, Nasty, what, three times, three years straight, Division Seven champ. Last year, undefeated, 13 and 0. The year before that, I think they were 12 and 1. The one was the loss here. Uh, we were here for that one. I forget the exact score, but it was, it was like a, a 28 to 26, 24 type score where each team was, Nantucket, I think, got a big lead in that game. Right. Mashby came back and uh, just came up a little bit short. That was the last time Mashby's lost. Uh, since then, have won, I think you said 19 in a row since. 19. Well, Dick, uh, before the, before the uh, kickoff, they're going to have a little uh, moment of silence. Moment of silence for the great coach Vito Capizzo. And he'll be proud, he'll be proud of his coaching staff with a lot of his uh, ex-players out there. And the quarterback, Duard, the son of Nicky, one of, one of Coach Capizzo's favorites. All right, the Whaler captain. Number 15, Cameron Bartlett. Number two, Victor Gambaroni's out there. Number 61, Camden Willett. And number 53, Chance Paul. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if Victor, if Victor's a, uh, an extra captain or not. They have three captains listed on the program. Maybe Victor got voted a, a captain or a new captain or a game captain. We'll have to find out how that works. For Nashby. Devon Ford, number 88. Um, all right. We got a little princess down there, I see. <laughs> Look at that. A new whaler fan. You got it. A new whaler fan right there. Woo. <laughs> number 88, Xavier Gonzalez, the captain. And number seven, Cameron Kurgo. Three of the three of the stud players that they have. Yeah, those are, those are the three players that Nantucket, uh, that Nantucket has to stop right there. And those are the three players, any one of those three can uh, change the game on a flash, either by running the ball, catching a long pass, or catching a pass, or making a defensive play. All right. So we talked about Mashpee going 13 and 0, but Nantucket, uh, no slouch last year, 10 and 2. Uh, a couple of their opponents, we're as strong as a couple of Mashpee's opponents, but you gotta play uh, on, you gotta play, play the hand they, they give you. Yeah. All right, they're gonna make some announcements over there. Talking about a moment of silence for Vito Capizzo. The community was truly saddened to hear of Coach Capizzo's unexpected passing this past May. Over his 45 year tenure as a teacher, athletic director, and football coach, Vito Capizzo had a tremendous impact on the lives of so many of our students here at Nantucket High School. Throughout his years of dedicated service, both in the school and as a Nantucket community member, Capizzo touched the lives of so many people, both young and old. The man they called Coach will truly be missed by all who knew him. His spirit of Whaler pride will live with us forever. Please join us now in a moment of silence. Ladies and gentlemen, now please rise and remove your hats for the singing of today. Young lady down there in the field singing. I think it was Caroline Harding, I'm not sure.
good job. I believe it was Caroline. I thought caught the name. Good job by her. But uh, we're ready to rock and roll here, Dennis. Yeah, we are, Dick. All right. The 1918 football season is underway. And the I am starting my 33rd year in the booth. Wow. 33 oh years in the booth. Imagine wow. that. How many years have we been doing games, Dick? I mean, I you guess I. I, think you, I think you started 16 years ago. 16 years ago. You've been here for half of them. I started I was, out with Chris Worth. I was a Worth. kid back then. <laughs> I started out with Chris Worth. He was a kid back then. 33rd year. Wow. I stopped coaching after the 85 season and started announcing the football in the, the 86 season. Well, time goes by fast. It, fly, it flies when you're having a good time. Right? Yeah. I certainly have a good time doing this. Dick, you're a star. I mean, <laughs> you, you, well, you come when you want, you <laughs> leave when you want. It's Gino, poor Gino, he doesn't know what to do. I just let him do whatever he wants. Just, You're a star well, like that. You just gotta he do just, it. You just you gotta let him do it. <laughs> you guys, you guys gotta get the logistics down right. <laughs> Knowing the game style. Look at, look at here it is. You rush me up here. You rush me up here at five o'clock, and now here it is five thirty-seven. Oh. They're finally getting the kickoff off at five thirty-seven. I could have sat. I could have sat on the couch with my oh. slippers on for another 15, 20 minutes. Unless she didn't call me. All right, 10 minute periods here. And Nantucket kicking into the wind. So let's see how this affects this kick. Not too much of a wind, so it shouldn't affect it too much. But Mashby's uh, up 15 yard line. They're not expecting to go too deep. And the Speed Merchant's got it. Middle. Good run by Diego. He gets it out to the 40. Good field position for Mashby. Yeah, he got a couple. He got a couple of nice bounces there. Sometimes you get a bad bounce on those, but he got a couple of nice bounces and uh, got himself in good. So Mashby will be starting first in ten from the uh, forty. Portions of this first period brought to us by Don Allen Auto Center. New and used vehicles on sale at Don Allen. All right. High formation, straight ahead, quarterback keeper. Pretty good gain on the quarterback was that, keep. Was that, I, I didn't see who carried it. Was that the I quarterback? thought it was the halfback. Was the halfback one? Ford, was that Ford? Ford's, Ford is one, I thought seven. One is the... I, th I thought the quarterback kept it. That, so we're like three blind mice up here. We gotta, we gotta get our we're not ready. Kind of a close shot here. Too. All right, let's. If we had, let's if we see had if, replay. We let's could see if we can follow the ball this time. Exactly. Pass. Oh, wow. just overthrown. Just barely. Yeah, he just uh, he, he just up on it. Yeah, he just eared that out. I don't think he was looking for it, right? Yeah, right, Gino. You know. uh, was on the coverage. He could have had that. He eared that out, and uh, the end. Uh, you know, if the end was uh, kept running, might have brought it in. Okay, we got a third down and about five. I think they'll go back to the ground now, and I don't even know if they'll think about punting the ball. Let's see how much they make on this ground. Third and five. Okay, we got an offset eye. He is He'll passing. Throw it again. First down. Completion goes to number 10. Where, ooh, where are they going to mark it? That's the question. Uh, number 10's not on the roster. He did. It no. looks like he got the first down. Oh, he had the first down, yeah. Is number 10 out there, Dick? I yes. no, number 10 is out there. I don't see a 10 on the roster. I don't see a on the roster. No. Who's number 10? Hughes, Devin Hughes. Devin, Devin Hughes. Hughes, thank you. And Ford's going to get his first carry. And 
Makes a pretty good game. Run out of bounds by the Wills. So we got second down and about six. All right, so scratch number four from your program and make it a 10. Again we, have, we, again, we have a program that's not in numerical order, so it's hard to find things. All right, so that was a five-yard pickup by Ford. All right, up to... Oh! Good, good job by the Wills. Gamboni, number two, comes up to make the tackle. Give it to the fullback up the middle of that time, and Nantucket does a good job stopping it, bringing up third and five. Last time in this situation, they passed. Now they're definitely not in punting uh, area. They're four down territory now. Ford up the middle, gonna get stopped. Good job. Number four on the tackle for the Whalers. They're bring up, gonna bring up fourth and about two. Well, actually, he gets a good spot, fourth and one. Yeah, he so really gets a good spot. All right. So they're gonna, the first moment of truth for the Whalers. They're bringing, he's bringing the big. He's bringing the big guys in. Brought in a big 75, took out number 10, so they're going to a uh, a big blocking front. Okay, we got we got one. Fourth and one. Ford, uh, got it. A little bit of a little bit of a counter there. Yeah. They took Ford. They took Ford and split them out. That was interesting. Kendall Rose was on the carry. So the ball spotted on the 38 yard of, of Nantucket. First and ten. What I'm noticing here, Dennis, right away, listening to the coach beside me on, on the uh, phones up here and looking down the field, is they have certain formations with certain people. And he'll say things like, use in, rose out, meaning they're changing their formation. This spin. one's going to be a pass. Just a guess. Up, oh, offsides, no. Yeah. Oh, get in the corner, knocked out of bounds. That should be it. Six. Ford's looking for a late hit. Terrain it Burton. It was close. Close, but... Terrain Burton on the tackle, but after a gain, five more yards. Balls on the 34. So Mashby's got himself a good drive going and taking time off the clock. I wouldn't be surprised to see him throw it here. Second and five, second and six. Put down the throw on because you're in four down territory. And you're right, Dennis. Oh! oh. There's the flag. Ooh. Yeah, he was being tackled before the ball got there. Yeah. The, the bad thing about that, the ball was not going to be caught. But he tackled them before the ball got there. And even though it's not going to be caught, they're either going to get a holding or a pass on the field. So give them a first down either way. Give Let's them a, see what they're going to mark off. Can he, they got interference. Yeah, interference. Well, whatever they whatever they call is yep. going to give them a first down anyway. So Mashby's doing a nice little ball control drive. Nantucket had a lot of people in the backfield that time. So you may see a, a screen or a draw coming up here, Dennis, because Nantucket is sending so many people. All right, the ball spotted on the 30. Uh, they should get more than yeah. that, shouldn't they, Jack? Yeah, the coach. That's where, that's where it happened. Yeah, move the ball. The coach they didn't move the ball. The coach is asking why didn't they get the spot? Yeah. What was that all about? 
I think he's just saying it was a five-yard penalty. Oh, so okay. even though they called the it pass interference, I think they, I think they ruled it a, a five like a, yard. Oh, so they just gave him a five. Yard. But either way, it was going to get the first down. I, I know, I got that. But what, what has it been a five-yard penalty? I don't. He's holding. I don't know. He's going to throw it again. Ooh, cool. almost intercepted. I think it was. No. He caught it back, held on to the ball. Too, too long, long, yeah, too long. So we got second down. That's the third pass attempt. Third, or yeah, fourth maybe. They, uh, they're not afraid to throw the ball. No, they're they not. They haven't thrown to the tight end, which is surprising. Okay, the quarterback. Uh, and Ford has got the carry up the middle. Tough yard. And Tucker's uh, defense uh, is uh, stiffened up here. Stiffened up a little bit. It's about a three-yard gain. Third and seven. So now they got to think about whether they can get uh, two rushes for seven or they have to throw the ball again. Ian Miller, number two, is the quarterback. Uh, Dick. It's impossible when they make these rosters. Not the for numbers, them, not, not numerical order. Not numerical crazy, order. Yeah. Shame on you, Mashby. Numerical order. There's the screen. screen. Wow, wide open, too. There's the screen. I told you that was coming. Yeah. Dick, you were right. They're, they're sending, this. the Antarctic is sending five or six guys. The screen is wide open. If they keep doing that, I wouldn't be surprised to see Ford on a draw. The ball spot on the 16-yard line. We got first. And uh, what? We got, we're in the first First? No, no, no. A timeout, I think, by Nantucket. Oh, wait. No, the official, official is sending 53 off, so pointing to his elbow. I mean, he might have some blood showing there. Chance Pollock. They sent him off. The official said to check his elbow, so I don't know if he had. A, if you have any blood showing, they want you to clean that up. I don't. I'm just guessing. Long count. Ford on the outside gets a block. Gets a corner. Tippy toes in. 16-yard run. That's what Ford can do for you. He got the corner, one block on the uh, outside. He was gone. So that was a 60, uh, <laughs> 60 yard drive. I think it was about 11 plays. So moved down the field, took half the period, 5 11 left. And I didn't see any kicking going on before the game. No, they, they didn't do any kicking. So there. I think they were uh, two point uh, going for a team. And if you were here as early as Gino and I, we saw it all. You saw, oh, did, yeah. you, did, you, did you see the kicker? Talk about prep. Did, did you see the sign that said game time 5.30? No. You didn't see that? <laughs> Bootleg and two yards. Pass from Miller to number two. <laughs> to number seven. Eight, eight, eight. Uh, Kendall Rose. Kendall Rose. So Mashby takes an eight to nothing lead as he took, took the kickoff on the 40 yard line and unofficially 11 plays, 60 <laughs> yards. It's a good mixture, good mixture of passes. It was run. wonderful. It was a wonderful drive for the first. Uh, First drive of the, of the football season. Yeah, they, uh, they, they mixed, mixed it up really they well. They mixed it up well, going back and forth. And I like an offense that doesn't predict when you're going to throw the ball. Now, anybody, anybody can 
go run the ball, get a yard, run the ball, get two yards, and have third and seven, and it's drop back to pass. It's when you throw on first and ten, second and five, all sisters might tight. They, they keep the defense. Gino put us on live streaming, Dennis. I know. And uh, I, I want to point out here, I saw this. 13.1 million watched the Super Bowl last year on the internet live streaming. 8.2 watched the cricket match in India. It just goes to show you where we're headed. So, it, Gino, I hope you can get our live streaming over to India. If there's 8.2 mil sure. million people over there watching cricket, they'd love to watch a little football. Especially high school football. High school from football. Nantucket. So, welcome India to our broadcast. Sure. All right, Victor Gambaroni and uh, uh, Monique Bowden in the back deep. Number three and number two for the Whalers. Uh, we haven't seen Asha yet. Is Asha, um, I see the fellow that's uh, banged up. I there? heard that one of the running backs got dinged up in practice Wednesday or Thursday. And I didn't get a name and I didn't get how serious it was. And I didn't want to ask the coaches when I talked to them before the game. What a kick. Yeah, I got the win. Whoa. Let it, let it go. The end zone. Whoa, nice kick. Well, he did have the... No, he, he kicked it. He had the he had the win. The wind in his favor. Yeah, the wind in his favor. That was a real strong kick. Going into the wind, it would have been a good strong kick too. So the whalers take over. We'll get an idea now if anybody's hurt in the backfield, Dennis, when we see who lines up now. Yeah. Keep in mind, number 88, the left defensive end for a mash beat. It's going to be tough to run on his side. Yeah, tough to run on his side. I, I was surprised they didn't use him in the offense at all, but maybe he's he, the, the blocking tight end. It opens up the holes for him. I know he's a good, def a good defensive player. Oh, oh there's interference. interference. No way, that was totally interference. He cut him before the turnover. Oh, they're calling it an oh, interception. Oh, Unbelievable. Call. Interference. Holy. He, he hit him beforehand. You gotta say something, Dick. You wanna go down there and I'll film you? <laughs> <laughs> sir! 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 Exactly. <laughs> we got it right here. I saw oh it. Oh my god. Bad call. Well, we the hole now. You talk about getting a break against you right away. Nantucket was going for the. Uh, sure, it was a good pass. Pass. Interference on the Mashby defensive back leads into an interception as he knocks the Nantucket kid down and the ball falls right in his lap. And they're going to throw it first down. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh. Wide, Wide open. If Miller can throw the football, that was pretty pretty tight spiral. Yeah. So they went for the bit, went for broke on the first down. Yeah, he's a uh, he's a six two, one eighty pound junior, Dennis. So the question in my mind was, Mashby losing their quarterback is that going to affect them at all? Yeah. No, they got they, they got, got a junior. They got a junior there who's yep. uh, proven his worth so far. Next guy up, Fort weaves his way. He didn't, he didn't, he didn't, we should have picked him up a lot sooner. Ford, uh, he gets a what, six? Yeah. Again, they're already crossed midfield, they're already down to the fly, so four down territory here. He's up to third and four. Near Tuckett needs a break. Mashby got the early break on the interception prior to the bad call. Let's see if Near Tucker can force a break in their favor. All right, here we go. Third down and four. And Ford is going to go outside. Oh, that was a nice move, too. Yeah, once Ford gets into open space, he's tough to bring down. Yeah, he did a little, did a little jitter step and uh, moved out. 
I mean, that was a broken play. The, the play was designed to go into the middle of the line. The middle of the line is all clogged up. And as you see, he does a little dance, a little juke, and gets around to the outside and uh, picks up the first down. Sorry. All right. First and 10. The ball's on the 33 three yard line. Stop and go. Did he catch it? He didn't catch it. They say it hit the ground. He did catch it, but they're saying the ground helped. <laughs> we don't have to close up for that one. We're trying to sell it. There's not, there's not a lot of arguing going on with anybody, including the kid who made the catch. It was the, uh, it was the, 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 the catch was there, but the ground helped the catch, and uh, we know, we know all about that. <laughs> so we got a uh, second and ten. Mash has got a wide open offense right now going. Yeah, they do. We have a timeout on the field, I believe. I don't know who called it. Officials say it's officials, officials timeout. Yeah. Sending 88 out, okay. Now they did call time. Both uh, both uh, teams have had a guy sent off the field that the officials picked up, so they, they must be watching something. They sent Pollock off, and now they send uh, the big tight end, Gonzalez off. So uh, we're in the first period? First yep. period, 3.30 to go. It's had, so kind of slowed down here a little bit. The in, incomplete passes stop the clock. I'm sorry, Gene. The will, the will is have had the ball one play. One play. <laughs> one play. That's tough. Yeah. So if, if you if you break break that down on time, they probably had the ball six seconds. Uh, and Mashby, it's 3:30 left, so Mashby's had the ball. Six and a half minutes. That's a big advantage there. Nantucket defense has to be getting a little bit tired here. Plus, at this point, we don't know how many people are going both ways. All right, we got the second down and ten. So the timeout, I think, was called by Master so Gonzalez could get back into the game. Ooh. Fumble, fumble. Get him. Again, Ford is looking for a late hit. It's dangerous to get near the sidelines because you, <laughs> there's no such thing as just stepping out. You, so get now, you get escorted out of, out of bounds. So there, there's a mistake. Uh, third down and 13. Yeah, now... Uh, so a bad now mistake. If, if, you're the, uh, if you're the coach, Dennis, you don't go for the whole 15 here. No. You go for about six or seven. The defense will give you six or seven, so you take it right here. Yeah, let's see where they're going to go with that. Nice move. But, all right, Will is stop it. Bowden comes up and makes the tackle. Yeah, good, good pass. Uh, Nick Vicker, number 52 for the Whalers. Good pass coverage there. Quarterback picks up three on the, uh, on the run. But it's fourth and 10. That one, well, that one play, that one ball that can really uh, Hurt a, hurt a drive. Now right. Nantucket, Nantucket will give him six or seven here yeah. again. Stop him. They want to play for stopping the first down. You got to watch number seven. He's the guy. He's looking, looking, looking. 
He goes to tight end. Oh, they missed him. Complete. Nantucket takes oh, over. Oh, yeah. I'm surprised that's the first time they've gone to the tight end. I'm more surprised that they sent him that far down the field. I would have I sent him down about 11 or 12 and just had him uh, turn, turn around and look for a, a weak spot to pick up the first down. But they went for the, uh, the ball of wax there and uh, the touchdown. Wales take over 222 left first period. They're down 8 to nothing. Mashby's had the ball all but about six seconds of this uh, seven minutes and uh, 38 seconds. All right, let's see the let's see the wheels. Uh... Trip, trip, trip. All right, do our do our carry. Good, good carry. Well, two yards, three yards. Second and seven. What Nantucket needs is a, uh, a couple of first downs to get a little confidence back into the offense. You know, I see neither Burton nor, am I mistaken? Usher and Burton, five or six. I don't see either one of them in the backfield, no. Oh, oh there's, the, there's the defensive end. Yeah, you, you, you can't... Uh, if you're gonna run to 88 side, you gotta block him. They did not block so him. So he's he, he's, he's all star. He's yeah, he was star. down. He was wow. he's already visiting colleges. He was visiting Rutgers last wow, weekend. Wow, that was a pretty impressive tackle. Yeah. He just had his. I mean, he just his arm came out. Yeah. And he went down. Six six three two forty. Yeah. Colleges will eat him up, especially if he has. We a got great a timeout year. on the field. With the 109 left, first period. Willis Trail, eight to nothing. So timeout on the field. Portions of this game brought to us by Nantucket Island Pharmacies. In town and out of town, they get you covered. 122 Pleasant Street, Mid Island, directly across from the Stop and Shop. 45 Main Street, downtown Main Street, Nantucket Island Pharmacies. Also, watch out for the Ducks. Nantucket Carving and Folk, uh, 167 Orange Street. You know where they are. The duck signs are up. Leave those poor ducks alone. They're creatures of habit. Are you, you're really an animal lover. Aren't aren't you, I love animals. I love. You really yes, do. I, I have a deer family that goes through my backyard. A deer family? A mother and three uh, three little. All ones. the hunters are going to be over your house. That's true. So <laughs> I'm going to be there. I'll tell you what. I'm <laughs> they when I they when I used to walk out into the back porch, they would scamper away. Now they'll, they'll stand and look at me. Oh, I, I so wow. water out from. They're very dry. They, they, Yesterday, I went out, and he was standing from here to where the Mashby team is there, and looking at me, I went over to the water bowl that I have in the backyard, and it was empty. So I went back and I filled it up, and he watched me do it. I went back into the house, and he went over and got himself a drink. He stood there a good 45 seconds to watch me fill it up and then go back in the house, and then he went over and got himself a drink. Okay, we got a third down, Dick, and nine. Looks like a pass we played. Yeah, they got to put the ball in the air. We got, we're passing a lot more this year. We got trips. Do a hit and knock down. The Wales will need to punt. Well, they're probably a little bit gun shy from that interception because that was a definite passing situation. Well, they're going to have to punt there. But uh, now they have to punt the ball. And let's see how the punt goes into the wind. Oh boy. 12 guys in the field, they gotta get somebody off. He took another one. Yeah, Tucker took a time out there. They were having trouble getting set up in the punt formation. If they get set up quickly and punted the ball, they would have picked up five yards on too many men on the field. It wouldn't have gave them the first down, but it would have made them a decision to think about it in fourth you know, and less than a yard. It's, it's a kind of a typical first game. Well, that's what happens in the first game. Yep, you, and you, you, uh, you, you make you make a lot of mistakes, and you don't know how you don't know how to you don't know how to adjust to the mistakes because you haven't talked about them yet. You know. All right. And the 14 comes into the game for the Wales. Tamine Jolly, senior. Keep an eye on him. All right. 
And Bartlett back to punt. Good snap. And Ford is going to let it get a nice roll. Good, good, uh, good punt. 33 yard punt. And we got to play it down from the Nantucket. Looks like 54, Ethan Ferreira. And the uh, trainer's there. And Dr. And, uh, Dr. 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 Lepre's here. Yeah. They're bringing, oh, wow, they're bringing, bringing the stretcher out. out. Wow. That was fast. That was very quick to get the stretcher out there. Yeah, easy. I think it's 54, Ethan Ferreira. Senior lineman, if it is him. He took a step and he went down real fast. I don't know. Seems to be something in his chest because he's, he's moving both legs. Wow, the leopard's right on the front. Yeah. He must, have a, he must have a broken bone. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. He must have a I broken bone, yeah. Wow. Must be... Hate, it must be an arm because he seems to be moving both legs. You hate to see that, Dick. You know, opening game. So this is a uh, not a good scene when a no, play no. gets hurt. Right in the middle of the. Uh, the field and so uh, breaking the action, but uh, you're traveling off island tomorrow. Red Sox game. Red Sox game. Yep. I'll be I'll be uh, sitting right over the Red Sox bullpen. Over the bullpen. I hope Jeez. you catch. I hope you catch a home run. Or Me two. too. <laughs> Oh, he's up. That's a good sign. Oh, that yeah. is a good sign. But he, you can see the you see the cast on his arm. So it looks like looks to me like he's got a broken arm. Yeah. Especially as you said, Lepre jumped right onto that phone. So he uh, he was calling the hospital, telling that they uh, yeah. get ready, get ready for broken bones. So Ethan Ferreira, senior uh, senior lineman. So Nantucket will have to look for a replacement there. So a 30, 33-yard punt. They asked for you to take over on the uh, 20. Nantucket did not get a first down but held the ball for a couple of minutes. But at the end of this period, it's gonna be Mashby ahead, unless we have a, uh, a touchdown in this last play here. Mashby ahead eight to nothing. And Mashby holding the ball for about eight minutes of the first 10. You don't see Usher or Burton even in our no, offense or uh, defense. No, Burton's there. out defense. I did see him go out on the field. Out on the left, outside linebacker. Oh, I see him now, yeah, yeah. linebacker. Ford is going to get outside. Pretty good game. Get a first down on that carry. 
Chance Pollock on the stop. Clock uh, was stopped, maybe in the first down. 15 I seconds. Was, I don't know if he went out of bounds or not. No, he didn't. <clears throat> Watch him come back to this side, Dennis. They yep. tried the right, now they come back to the left. Two games on the get We have a penalty on that though, that's gonna come back. Looks like it's in the vicinity of holding. A little, little uh, extra. A uh, little extra after the play. Yep. Ch Chance Pollock in uh, the ball carry. Pollock, uh, Pollock leaned on him a little bit too long there. And, uh, All these uh, old alums are walking by with their, ro rolling their baby carriages. <laughs> They've been busy this summer. Yeah. <laughs> All right, two seconds left after the penalty brings it back first and 20, and that will end the first period here. So we have played one period at Vito Capizzo Stadium, and it's your Nantucket wheel is trailing by a zero to eight score. Now, we uh, only have to win three games to get into the playoffs because we're in, a, we're in a four team league this year. So if we beat West Bridgewater, we beat Monomore, we beat Holbrook, you get into the playoffs no matter what happens in the inaugural. All right, second quarter, getting ready to roll em here. Empty backfield. Screen. To the, oh, this is this is a tight end. Oh! Oh! Pop. Wow! Boy, did I hear. Whoa, look at the scrum. We've got a first down. Wow! That, that was, was a massive hit. That was an explosion. I hope everybody's okay up there. Wow. 88, 88 lost his helmet, but picked up the first down. Who was that, 53? I think 53 put the pop on, or 52? Chance, 52 was, uh, uh, ooh. McVicker. McVicker. All right, this is, this is the kind of hits that I like. McVicker, I mean, I like it was either McVicker or uh, Pollock. We're gonna give them both credit, but one of them really laid him out there. And Gonzalez, uh, is set down on the bench. But he got the first down. He got the first down. Let's go, let's go, go! He's got his helmet off though. That's never a good sign when you sit down the, the bench and don't put your helmet back on. Little back on full back oh, draw. Oh wow, that was just, yeah, yeah wow, he was down. Down. He was, he was down. That was that wouldn't have been a fumble, no. He was on the ground. Where's my uh, instant replay when he I was it? he was on the ground when that <laughs> ball came out. You don't need instant replay on that, Gino. Really? I no, don't know about Gino, that. No. I think he blew the whistle too quick, personally. He was down. No fumble. No. I mean, the guy wasn't even on the ground and he blew the whistle. So, <laughs> two plays, two first downs. Not a good sign. Gonzalez is still sitting on the bench without his helmet on. Is it check? And, and the, the, the little freshman oh, over there asking him how many fingers yeah. they got up. <laughs> I think he got the first down, uh, second down. Good Picked job up. by uh, Pollock, oh, yeah, he's 53. Chance Pollock. All right, Gonzalez is up, ready to go in. He'll go in on the next play. Mashby did us 28 to nothing last year on the road. We beat him over here two years ago. I think it was 28-22. Little move. Yeah, he passes. moved. He moved. He moved. Legal procedure. I think I think they might have had a couple of guys in there. I saw the fullback lean though. So that means it'd be a second down and 13. 
I'm surprised the score is as low as it is. These guys. Well, mistakes. Both teams have made yeah. some mistakes. Right. What oh. stopped the last drive from Ashby was a quarterback fumbling the ball. Yeah, they. Uh, the, the, and they've had, a couple, they've had a couple of penalties now. So this, this here, you know, the mistake here makes it a tough first down to get. Second and 13. And they're going to go with it. Don't miss it. There you Good go. Good job. Nice. Good job. By number 88 for the Whalers. James Lester. Yeah, Lester did a good job on that, Dennis. He stood his ground. Ford gave him the deke. He didn't bite for it. He, he leaned him towards the inside. Ford wanted to go to the outside. He brought him down. Now, what are we going to see this time? I think you see the long pass to uh, seven. Bowden's over there in coverage. And they're going to go. Nice block. Overthrown. Oh. Quarterback so off target Mashby's on that one. going to have to punt. Yeah. The quarterback off target on that one. And uh, overthrew. So Mashby will be punting. It's Jay Fox down here. There he is. A loyal world of fans for many, many he years. He used to be the. Uh, he used to be the guy holding the, uh, the chain. yard markers, the yep. chain. He was an old chain man. Change game. We all game. we caught him. We try to get him back doing it, but uh, right. he's retired. He's Xavier retired. Gonzalez hunting, and Bowden and Gimboni back deep. Oh, get him! Ball. Get him! Gonna run it. Gonna run it. He's got the oh, first down. First down. Oh my goodness. Major mistake there by the Whalers. I don't know. They must have had a return on Dennis because they had only one guy breaking in there, and he took off after he saw the ball oh on the ground. So a broken play. Wow. Broken play, and that, that just caused everybody to delay a little bit. That's all. That's all. Yeah, that's Nantucket, all Nantucket should be setting up with the ball right in front of us here at about the 45 yard line. Instead, Mashby now is in position to uh, they set, the up, ball set up 31. for a second touchdown. Yep. Forward in motion. And they're going with the counter. Oh, it's the yeah, counter. Right up the nice block. Yeah. Great, great block by number 88, uh, Xavier really Gonzalez. Nice the inside counter, always a tough play to cover. And uh, he loses out on the touchdown because as he was diving for the end zone, he stepped on the uh, line on about the two yard line. But that's a 28 yard run. A little under six minutes left there. 5.20 to go here in the first half, and uh, they need a trainer on this side of the field. We got a timeout. They're calling for a trainer. So Mashby's got somebody injured. All right, so Mashby first and goal from the two. Look for Ford to get it. Oh, bobble, bobble. Did they get it? Quarterback got it, but uh, they're going to lose yards on that. That's going to push it back to about the three. Actually, they're mocking it at the Ford Dennis. Wow. So all of a sudden, there's a little bit of life back in this uh, defense here now. A little bit. Goes from first and goal from the two to second and goal from the four. 
So now you have to change your thinking. You gotta think uh, maybe pass, no, maybe sweep. Second and go. I, I would run it there. Oh no, I think they're gonna run it, yeah. Second man through four, he bounces the outside, goes inside, and oh, got a pass. Face mask, all face mask. You face, got a face mask. mask. When that many flags comes in. Yeah. When that many flags come in from all those different right. angles, it's usually a face right. mask. Oh, yeah. yeah. Are you right, Dick? So that makes it a uh, first down again. Automatic. So instead of third down and two, Actually, they're going to move it up half of that, move it up to the one. Now, Dick, you get half the Dick, distance. If, if, I, if I were running this offense, eight, north and south, maybe quarterback sneak. I'd go to the quarterback sneak right now. Because quarterback, uh, a little bit shaky. It's the second or third time he's done that, trying to pull out. He, he's afraid of the uh, defense coming at him. So I would just have him lean forward here, give a little confidence back in him. Here it is. He, he, he might not have got in, but I would uh, run it again. Nobody made a call. He wound up in the end zone, but they're not going to give it to him. I don't know how uh, how they determine where the ball goes. They have to put it outside the uh, white line. <laughs> that ball's so close. Yeah. <coughs> well, he had enough forward motion, momentum to, to have the touchdown call. None of the officials made the call. So it's on about the... I think the officials are in spring training, too. Oh, that's, that's for sure. Well, they were expecting a 5 o'clock game, so they're thrown off. Yeah, he's in now. No call. Then Now we got a call. Now we got a call. Let's go! So a quarterback sneak, and Mashby has a... 14 for nothing lead. The young man on the bench is number 75, Eric Menke, and he's a freshman deck. Big boy for a freshman. He is. All right, we get the score now, moves up to 14 to nothing, and Mashby will go for two. Going for two. They're going to throw it in Passing. the corner. Got it. Gonzalez yeah. got it. Yeah. So it's 16 to nothing. So Mashby uh, took advantage of the. Uh, Broken play on the punt. Nantucket defense fell asleep there a bit. Let them get the first down. And then uh, moved down the field. The big play was the 28 yard run by uh, Cameron Kergall on the inside counter. Set him up on the two yard line. Took him four plays to get it in there, but you had a a bobble on a quarterback, he had a penalty, finally got it in. So 3.14 to go, Dennis. Nantucket really needs... Uh, they need something. They need a score. Well, so they not need so a, much they a score, a but they, they, they just need to hold the ball for the, these last 3.14. Yeah. Give, give them some confidence and some light going back into the... Thing. You, you, if you have a three and out here and you give Mashby the ball back, you're yeah. going to go into halftime really down and out. You, you like to get the ball here and Nantucket four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nantucket's missing a guy. Here well, he comes. Yeah, okay. Num All right, number two is back deep. All by himself, Gamberoni. And what a kick. This one's going to be returned, though. All right. 
Good run, good run back by getting a Good strong gets a run there, over gets the it out 20. close to the 25. Good job. Went straight ahead, picked up as much yardage as he could. So let's see what Nantucket uh, does. As we agree, Nantucket needs to hold on to the ball for yeah, the last three minutes and yeah. nine seconds. Hopefully come up with a score. Get a, get a couple of first downs at, at a minimum. Okay. Jared, uh, we're going to go with a quick snap. Oh, nice oh. tackle. Nobody blocked number eight. Yep. Wide open. Number 21 on a carry for the Whalers. Keegan down. I see Burton coming in for the first time on offense. This is, I, I, you know, he might. Kind, of, kind of strange here. Let's see if uh, Burton's in the tailback spot. See if he's got some life in him. We need some life. Then they got to go outside. Gambroni with a carry. We're close to a first down, make a third and shot. The wheel's keeping it on the ground. Well, they gotta, they got to get the first down here, then they can throw the ball. And Tucker needs the two to keep this drive going. Two minutes left but in the half. If they do keep the drive going, they got to hurry up the pace, Dennis. They waste a lot of time in the huddle. Yeah. Again, first up the middle, Burton, I think he got it. Oh, wow. There's nothing there. Maybe he got the first down. No, fourth down. He didn't get anything. Fourth, fourth down. They got to. They need to punt it there. I think they're going to go for it. Oh. I think they're going to go for it. Whoa. I'm not. I'm not crazy about this decision there. Well, if you if you take a lot of time off the clock, yes. Minute nine. It's going to bring it under a minute if nobody calls a timeout. I think they're shot. Same play. They're going to say he didn't make it. I don't know. Well, I don't, I, don't understand, I don't understand that strategy, Dennis. You bring Burton into the game and you run him into the middle of the line twice. I would have liked to see him going off tackle. Well, and what you said is why give Mashby the ball in uh, golden field position here? And that's and just they, what they, they did. They can throw the ball deep. They got a quarterback. They can throw deep. And, you know, a lot of bad things can happen from here. Yeah, they, they, got, uh, they got four chucks from this spot at least, unless they uh, complete one of them, and then they'll have another four chucks. But they also have explosive ball carriers that... Uh, yeah, yeah. All right, let's see what's going to happen. Watch number seven. I, you know, they might try to throw him on a, on a fly pad. Half-back Half -back pass. pass. Oh, wow. Oh. They're gonna call that incomplete. They're gonna call. They're gonna not call the penalty. So Nantucket dodged one there. Nice pass. Very easily. Very easily. Uh, yeah. Now if that was the uh, NFL, he would have went down. The receiver would have went down as soon as the hands went on him. High school kids don't think of that. Well, he's, he's so much bigger than everybody else. Yeah, if, if once once he felt the hands on him before the pass got there, if he goes down to the ground, but as you say, he's big enough that he thought he could still stand there and catch it. And they're gonna go trips over the middle. 
Oh, my goodness. Ford takes it down to the... And we got a timeout. No, that's not four. That's number seven. Number seven? Another penalty? That's on us. Well, though. I would take the play. Well, that's on us. So the, it's rough in the passive, which could be added on after the play. Unless it's on. Uh, you, you unless got it's on. The pass or it's... Yes, it is. It's rough in the passive. They add it on. They take the play and the penalty. Ooh. So they get the play, plus they get half the distance of the goal line. Wow, Dick. Major turn of events here in the last yep. two minutes. Yep. Now they get tons of time. I don't know how many timeouts they got left, but yep, now they, they get, get the ball goal to goal with 38 seconds. So they can, uh, they can run the ball twice, call a timeout, run it a third and fourth time. In the Intercepted! Oh. Big time! Whoa! Lucky! Did Nantucket do the job there? Some good news. Right. Again, Dick. Major mistake. Oh, Major Mashby's, mistake. Yeah. Mashby's fault. You got the there. ball right there. You got timeouts. You got timeouts. What, you're ready to put the, the nail in the coffin, and you get a little bit uh, greedy. Where have we seen that before? A great, great job by Nantucket. Who, uh, I, who intercepted it? Was it 29? Uh, go 12 here. I'm not quite sure, Dick. I wish we had a spotter up here. We need a spotter. Oh, we need some instant replay. Maybe. All right, we always need to just sit on it. No. They're not going to sit on it. Is Nantucket that going to call a it. timeout? Do they have any left? Oh, Dick, well, yeah. you, you, you well they can run the another clock. play. I know they could, but now not they, down there. Well, now they call the timeout. Oh. Get out, of, get get to the half play. Then yeah. you can maybe adjust some things. And, well, well, now you can throw the, uh, now you can throw the bomb down the field. And the bomb can be intercepted. Okay, Portion of this game brought to us by the fairgrounds. Check out Publix Pub where friends meet after the game. Head over to Publix. You're uh, watching this. Streaming. Head over to Publix and certainly be there Sunday for the big game between the Patriots and the Oilers. Today, t tonight, the uh, Cohasset, the next opponent, which will be here. Next week, they're playing Rockland. Rockland tonight. Big school. <laughs> Big school. So we'll see how they make out tomorrow. They're our opponent next week. They're our opponent next week. The, in the Globe today, they had the top 20. Mashby was listed as 14 yeah. in the poll. I don't, I don't know. I mean, we don't see all the teams. I don't think Mashby's... Sorry, Gino. I don't think Mashby's that should be that high up in the state. Oh, no, no, but, but they, they, they based upon them winning, you know, three division seven. Oh, that was dangerous. <laughs> Flag, I think, he was, anyway. I think he was over the line of scrimmage. That's, that's a uh, loss of down, right? Well, there's no time left in the no clock. Time they might just pick up the flags and tell them to go to the locker room. Yeah, intentional downing, period, quarter. All right. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna t we're gonna stop the stream and we'll see everybody back for the second half. Okay. We'll see you in a few moments, folks. Put the, put the